We're going to create a very basic budget tracker today, income and expenses, and track where are we putting our money. I'm going to show you how to use the sum if formula. That's going to be very important to this template. Enjoy. You could probably do this yourself in about five minutes. And we're going to start right off by figuring out the difference between income and expenses. Our difference up here. And we have income here and then expenses. Income, we're just going to have a simple table. Green and expenses are going to be three columns and red. We can expand this to make it nice and we can also change the text. Let's use something like quicksand, but bold, the things we want to have at the top. We're going to have a place for our dollars. So our pay, we're going to set that as dollars here. And the second column will be dollars as well for expenses. We'll write a little word or description. We have some basic bills like rent. Now we want to categorize these expenses. Let's do that in this column. We'll insert a drop down menu and we could enter our drop down items here that we want to select from, but we could also create a drop down from a range. We'll need to create a new sheet called settings. And we're going to write needs, wants, and savings here. And so our drop down from a range is going to be settings, exclamation point, A2, colon, A4. If we want to include possibly doing other options here, just don't put the four there. Just click done. And now we have a drop down menu, but it's only an E4. So let's go and click on that and say E4, colon, E2020. There. And we're going to take our, click done, and we're going to take our formatting and copy it all the way down to here. Paste special format only. Dinner out, we want that. Want electric, we need that. And rent, we need that. Let's give everything a little bit more space, but not too much. Now we want to know what the difference between our income and our expenses are. Maybe we get another paycheck. There we go. So we were going to do equal sum of B4 colon B minus sum of D4 colon D. And there is our difference this month. If we want to create this as a template, we'll call this template and we can always duplicate it and call it January 2025. And we'll delete these items here. We'll have our January and then we can always create a duplicate of the template for each month we want to do. Let's actually add the month at the top. I want to move this difference down, cut and paste. I'm going to do 1, 1, 2025. I'm going to put a date here, but now I'm going to go up to format, number, custom date and time. And up here, I'm going to delete the year, delete the slash day and month. I'm going to change to full name, apply. So now I can put a date here. Let's make this bigger. This is our January. Now, if I duplicate this, duplicate and change this to 2, 2, it's now automatically going to show February, February 2025. Perfect. Now I have a really cool and very basic income and expenses tracker every month or even keep everything in one year. I don't like this design too much because I feel like it has some excessive things. So I will go up to view, show and uncheck grid lines. And then I'll also go over to the side F and do shift command to the right and delete those columns. I'm also going to do that shift command down and delete these rows. So this looks a little tidier. And as I enter my paycheck this month, there. And an expense, rent, 900 needs, there. I want to add a couple more things. So up here, I have three more spots. And I'm going to put needs, wants, and savings here. Now, these are the three options here. I'm going to sum if, and the sum if starts with the E column. The criteria is going to be C1 right above it, comma, and the sum range is going to be the D, all of the expenses. So I'm going to be able to see as I put them in, I'm going to copy this and then go here, paste it and change C1 to D1, copy, and then I'm going to go into this cell and paste it and change it to E1. So it's always looking at this top needs, wants, savings. Let's center everything and let's make sure it all is dollars. And now I see a breakdown of each of the types of things that I'm buying each month. Let's put some test data, call it March, a couple paychecks there. Here's my new paychecks and some data 
I want the phone and I'm gonna save 100 bucks. And there we go, we have all our needs, your wants, your savings, all added up very simply up here. We have all of our expenses here, all of our income here, and we can duplicate this every single month, 12 times a year, or keep a running track of the entire year in one tab. You have a very basic budget tracker now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you did it yourself. I hope you can now use the sum if formula. Look, I'm making a ton of videos here on YouTube absolutely free. Of course, I have better sheets. Co. You can go over there, get a monthly subscription, and get every single sheet I make over there, or even take some courses, or even get some tools like Only Sheets, which is a IP protector for selling your Google Sheets. But no matter what, hit subscribe here, or go watch this video and this video here on YouTube.